I am Aaron Celestian, and I'm Curator of Mineral Sciences at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. This is one of the things that, that blows my mind. This right here is a zeolite. A zeolite is a, a group of minerals. There's not one mineral that's called a zeolite, but it's a family of different types of minerals. What makes all these zeolites unique is, is that they can ooze out water when you heat them up. In fact, the name zeolite means boiling rock. So when you heat this up, these crystals will slowly leak out water, and it's a substantial amount of water as well. When they cool off, they resorb that water back into their crystal structure. Now how they can do this is that on an atomic level, there are microscopic or atomic pores that can move atoms in and out of the crystal depending on the temperature or pressure that the crystal is under. We can take advantage of that property by not only just absorbing water as well, but absorbing heavy metals that might be associated with the water. So for example, radioactive waste. We can move radioactive waste that's in an ocean or in a river, put the zeolite in it, and the zeolite will absorb water and also will selectively absorb the radioactive materials. We can do this with lead in people's soils in their backyards. We can do this with organic contaminants as well. There's so many applications for this type of mineral for environmental and technology. Uh, these zeolites are also used to uh, purify oxygen for oxygen generators. And that was particularly important during the early onset of COVID in 2020, where zeolites were used for separating oxygen from other gases. This mesolite group of crystals, these are what we call acicular crystal growth. And you can see that they grow and they radiate out from a central point down here. Now this grew within uh, a much larger cavity that was filled with liquid and the crystals grow into that cavity and present themselves like this. Now why they grow in this needle shape like this, that's something that we don't really fully understand right now. There's no way of predicting the, the shape of the crystal as it's growing, but there is a way of predicting the angles between all of the crystal faces. So sometimes this crystal grows as needles, sometimes it grows as plates, uh, and other times it grows as like really short uh, tabular type of, of crystals. It, how they grow like that all depends on the environment that they are growing in. 